recognizing the revaluation gain and loss revaluing revaluation gain are recorded as a component of other comprehensive income either within the statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income or in a separate statement this gain is then carried in a revaluation surplus within equity the revaluation surplus is a capital reserve and therefore not permitted to be distributed to the shareholders revaluation losses which represent an impairment of asset value are recognized in the statement of profit and loss when a revaluation loss arises on a previously revalued asset it should be deducted first against the previous revaluation gain and can thereof therefore be taken to other comprehensive income in the year the excess impairment will then be recorded as impairment expenses in the statement of profit and loss it is important to note that offset of gain and loss between different properties is not permitted let's solve this uh, question an entity revaluated its building and decided to incorporate the revaluation into its financial statement extract from the statement of the financial position at 31st december 2007 the cost of building is 1200 Ah, uh, thousand because it three zero is here, and depreciation is one forty four. So twelve hundred less one forty four will be one thousand fifty six. The building is valued at first January two thousand eighteen at fourteen hundred. So there is an increase in the value of asset. earlier the value was at present at the date of revaluation value of asset is and now the increased value is so the income i uh, means excess is uh, um, 344 344 is the gain from the revaluation the useful life is 40 year at that date so useful life is 40 year means uh, 1400 divided by 40 that is the depreciation we have to charge so the relevant extract from the financial statement on 31st december 2008 now see the solution the relevant extract from the financial statement at 31st december 2008 are as follows a statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income so depreciation 35 so if we will calculate the depreciation uh, 1400 divided by 40 so it will come 35 so 35 is the depreciation means depreciation we are calculating on the new value other comprehensive income that i calculated 344 now statement of financial position you have to show the asset at 1365 1365 how it comes 1400 minus 35 is equal to 
and equity size revaluation surplus that we have calculated will go to the revaluation surplus in the equity side A statement of change in equity so revaluation gain is 344 it will be carried forward 344 on december 2008 note to the account uh, property plant and equipment building on 1st january is 1056 revaluation is 344 so total value is 1400 then depreciation 35 the net value is 1365 